was just getting carried away in the moment. I Jesse do, Cobb I do have to, I do have to, I do have to, to point out this is a non-title match. A non-title matchup. Although, granted, I'd love for it to be the be for the title here. I was getting carried away. And Jesse, you, I blame you. I blame with a, you. With a match, I don't know why you blame me. With a match with as much history and as much intensity as this, the title should be on the line. In my opinion, it should be on the line. We heard from Daniel Swagger at the start of this broadcast. Practically saying he's one super kick away. One super kick away. From victory, one super kick away from ending the legacy that Mark Cage has built. One super kick away from Cage's empire to come crumbling down. Cage obviously in no, he, he, he's in no, he's in no hurry to get in the ring and lock up. Daniel Swagger, he hasn't been in, he hasn't been on ignition in an official match capacity for so so long. Four years. Oh. Four years. Less. When was his last match, Jesse? Uh, Grand Slam. The first Grand Slam that we had was his last official match here at PCW. Yes. He hasn't been an active member on the roster for over two years. Daniel Swagger faced Danny Psycho at that match. It has been four years, sorry, since the last time that Mark Cage and Daniel Swagger were face to face, and how that ended. Mark Cage ruptured his ACL. Very serious injury, forcing down on the shelf. The guarantee there's no love lost between these two. And here we go! Bitter rivals colliding one more time here tonight. And I'm thrilled we're able to see this. There's a thirst press! There's a piston fire by Daniel Swagger! Swagger, look at this! As a Mr. Beat, Hurricane Rana, and now maybe looking at this early, he's turning up. He's going for the super kick. Mark Cage saw it coming, and he rolled out of the ring. He saw that super kick coming. That just shows how well that he knows Daniel Swagger. Daniel Swagger, though, whoa! Over the top! Suicide plunge over the top! I think it's safe to say he's still got it. 100% Jesse. Ne needs to work on his chops though. <laughs> he's gonna get a little bit of a fan interaction here. Oh! <laughs> oh. Anyone else want a shot? Three shots. <laughs> okay, that one wasn't as good. He's giving a free shot. Free shots to the crowd. Oh, here comes Jonathan. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Breaks the eyes. I guarantee Jonathan would have, ca would have caged cages were cages. Cage has had enough. He's taking his ball and going home, it looks like. Potentially going back up the entrance ramp. Swagger is not going to let him get away, though. That's better, Swagger. That's way better. Does anyone else want to chop my Should the referee be counting? I think they're just giving the people I, what they want, Jesse. I, okay, I guess. Uh, let me at him. Uh, you, you stay right. You Jesse, stay right here. Holding me back, you Jesse. stay right here. The big deal, Jesse we, Adams, we is know, holding what we thought back. We know if you were to go down there, you would cave his cage. In. You would cave his rib cage in. God I, damn it. I just want some beef on beef. Listen, man. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I think Swagger's doing a fine job. He's letting the he's letting the audience have a go at him. Referee's just letting him go. It's getting better and better with everyone. The referee's just gonna let him go. Why not? He's letting everybody have a shot. Referee's lost control. 
He's he's lost he's lost control. Lost and control. He, and he's like, you know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna let him go. Back into the ringside area now. That chest is red roll. This is why Daniel Swagger is so beloved by the PCW fans. He interacts with them more than quite possibly anybody else on the roster. I think that's right from the count. Pretty sure it's been nine and three quarters for the past two minutes. The smartest man in PCW. The smartest man with the reddest chest. The smartest man in PCW, Mark Cage, has just declared because now he's taking advantage against me? Daniel Swagger. You me? Now he is after he just got back in the ring. He's just saying embarrassment. He's like, how dare you embarrass me? How dare you make fun of me? How dare you throw me into the crowd? He's giving it to his oldest rival here. His oldest rival. Back suplex coming. Dumped hard in the back Hard landing. Of hard landing. Cage in the cover. Did not hook the legs that time. Daniel Swagger, how many times has he been national champion? Many of times, Jesse, I've lost count. I wasn't here long enough to even calculate how many. And basically, English education doesn't allow us to count to that number. Okay, okay. That's a chant you don't hear that often. But Mark Cage sucks. You see someone like Daniel Swagger, he hasn't taken these bumps, he hasn't taken these hits for over two years. What can that do to someone? You better believe he's going to have some serious ring rust on him. And he's just trying to work it off slowly. But slowly but surely. He's been pulling off some plunges on the top rope. He's yes, been he has. doing some hurricanes and the like. I think the guy's ready, but I'm not sure what he can take. Great Rocky Bobo said, it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and get back up and keep going. I feel like Swagger. Swagger can keep going. Great right hand punch there by the national champion. Placed perfectly into the side of the head. Swagger's just fighting to try and get up. Marquez cuts him off at that point. Just a reminder, fans, our next our next ignition will be on the 18th of December. This will be our that'll be our holiday edition. We'll be looking to spread plenty of holiday cheer with some excellent PCW action. Meanwhile, back in the ring, Mark Cage, we have a chin lock. I don't know if we have to bring a chin lock counter out, but uh, I don't feel like we've had to this night. He's firing back, Jesse. Swagger's trying mercilessly to get back in. Swagger with a roll up. There's two. Cage kicks out of two. And takes his head off of the lariat. What a lariat that was. Cage gonna roll over him again. Both legs hooked this time. Swagger kicks out again. What an excellent night of action in front of a sold out Southeast Entertainment Center. They are in, they are witnessing an absolute treat of seeing Cage and Swagger go one more time for the first time in years. Crowd slowly getting behind Daniel Swagger now. Nice shot to the gut. Now working the back, looking either side of the torso core. Forearm potentially to the low back area as well. But in my opinion, that's not the body parts he should be working on. He should be working on the legs to oh, avoid that super kick. He's keeping him down, Jesse. That's what that's his plan. He's working him well. That's true, keeping him grounded. But as long as the fans are rallying behind Swagger, he will get back up and he will keep fighting. Hard Irish whip into the corner. Cage trying to gather his wits and just just taking his time posing. When in reality, you should pick you should pick him up, hit him with a depot driver. One, two, three. That's it. But that's what I would do if I was him. 
Prophecy Online. Well, you're not national champion, Jesse. No, I'm Neither not. Neither am I. We're two bums sat in the commentary booth. Two oh, bums who add a hell of a lot of color, and you're, not just green and black. You're the bum. I'm the, I'm the, the product people pay for. Yeah, right. I feel like Cage is making a very, very big mistake by letting Swagger, letting him breathe, letting the, him get his oxygen back. I, I, the people get to Mark Cage. As much as he tries to deflect and not care about anyone, he wants people the same way of thinking that he does, which is why RB4K okay, is perfect for him. They are his cronies. They get behind every word and every command that he makes. But now... He doesn't, have, he doesn't have his cronies here at night. Exactly. He's here by himself. And he wants it for the PCW universe to have this group thing. But it's not happening. Just. It's definitely not happening. Farage rip again. Swag reverses. German suplex. That knocked Cage down for sure. Right, taking the window of Mark Cage right now. Swagger could be looking to match some offense. There's a forearm! Scoop slam! Daniel Swagger. He'll be signaling to go up top. He'll go upstairs. Can he get all the way up? Yes, he is. There's the elbow! Dropping that big elbow into the sternum of Cage. And now he's gonna tune up that signature super kick. The move that's won in so many championships, so many matches. Here it comes. Cage caught him. Dead volley driver. Going up. No. Versus again. Close line. Both run down. Both men are down after a double clothesline. Who is gonna get up and take advantage of this situation? You're exactly right, Jesse. First man up. Might, might get this, might win it, might take out. Could be Swagger. Both be, slowly getting up. I'd be wrong, Rob. They might they got up at the same time. It's a back and forth exchange. So this happened so many times between these two. Pops him up. Powerball! Oh. Turns him Straight over. Straight into it! STF! Almost center of the ring. This could be it. STF. Pretty much no grand slam. Swagger needs to try, uses abdominals on his upper body to crawl over, make the ropes. Just moments away, he inches, inches away. away. And he gets there, he gets to the ropes. Cage is getting frustrated. He is getting annoyed. He feels this should be over, Jesse. I completely agree with you. It could very well be over. I thought he was going to go up top for some high risk offense, but. I guess not. What could he possibly be thinking? Oh, he's getting his championship. Oh, no. He's getting the national championship. Surely you're not gonna beat your your old your oldest rival this way. Referee. Referee's trying to get the championship away from him. And good on him. Enforcing the law. Yes, ref. Thank you. Thank you. And now Cage, the champion, signaling this could be the end. Gonna pick him up. Potentially the Death Valley driver. Swagger, though, able to get out. Spine Buster! And now, 
And across the legs. Submission of his own. Making sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Center of the ring. What do you say, Cage? What are you saying? Swagger's trying to sit down and alleviate the pressure. He's trying to apply pressure here. He's been told that that's called the swag shooter. With the swag shooter applied. Trying to grab the championship again. This time. Case tapped out, but the referee didn't see it. Referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see or apparently hear Mark Cage tapping out. Mark Cage tapped out clean as day to the swag shooter. The referee didn't see it, Jesse Adams. He didn't see it, nor did he hear it. Cage, he's got him up. Death, Death Valley, Valley Driver! Driver! Cage hit it! He can knock him off right here! There's two! Kick, swagger kicked out! Oh my! Swagger kicked out! The second man ever to kick out the DVD! The first was Ryan Rapping. The second is Daniel Swagger. The only two men in history have ever kicked out of this finishing move. Unbelievable resilience by Daniel Swagger. The press chanting, you tapped out in their right. Oh. oh, look at this. Is invitation the sincerest one form of flattery? It may take one super kick. Whoa. Swear to God! Swear to God! He's got it! One, Swear two, to God. No. Barry O'Leary, damn it! O'Leary just took out the referee for God's sake.